We're all going on a summer holiday. You know, I'm actually going to put that in the podcast. Welcome to Let's Talk About It. I'm Sheena and this delightful little songstress is my wife tomorrow. I'm sorry for you who have bleeding ears right now. Oh, no, I like that. I thought it was awesome. <laughs> okay, so today's topic is what would make the ideal lesbian holiday spot? Well, I would start off with lesbians. True. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, going and being by yourself on an island and talking to your rock is very straight. Okay. So <laughs> should we have a lesbian cruise that takes you to a lesbian holiday island? Ooh, I like this plan. And the cruise can be for all those singles so that they can have moved in together by the time they get to the whole vacation spot. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the way back, there's a U-Haul <laughs> rental centre. <laughs> <laughs> yes yes okay good so I like this plan we have the ultimate lesbian sort of thing oh and next to the U-Haul there's a cat adoption place don't forget the puppy and a puppy you need a golden retriever you can't be a lesbian without a golden retriever oh do huskies count well next you might she's sorry to look a little barrel shaped okay so what's in this amazing Holiday resorts okay. or vacation spots. Well, I think let's start off with uh, all our leisure activities. So, rock climbing. Absolutely. Bonus to rock climbing, carabiners. Yes, we can finally use them. Yes, we can. Hike. Absolutely. You can't be a good lesbian unless you sort of know of other lesbians that hike. Or enjoy hiking yourself. Okay. Okay. Alright, so there's hiking, there's tennis, I'm assuming... Definitely tennis. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and volleyball. Yeah. Bouncy girls. Indeed. In little short shorts. Let's go there. <laughs> <laughs> kayaking. Oh, I love kayaking. That should tell you something about how lesbian it is. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, Alright. So, golf. I think golf is a must at any lesbian resort. I agree with you. Those that do not do tennis, do golf. golf. Plus you get to ride around little carts. Oh, I love that. Maybe that's why Nesbitt likes golf. It's the little carts? Yes. Well, that's why I like golf. Yeah. To be fair, you and I have never in our lives played golf. Ever. We've played putt-putts. It's not the same thing. (laughs) But I don't know if we've ever played tennis with each other either. I'm so bad at tennis. So, so bad. Okay, moving along. I'm bad, bad lesbian. <laughs> I don't even know if I've ever been kayaking. I've been canoeing. Isn't it the same thing, more or less? No, because a kayak is one of those things where you like fit into the boat, like you become like one with it, whereas a canoe is like bigger. Same? It's more or less the same thing, and I've done both. <laughs> All right. So once we've had our leisure activities, we can then move on to th- um, some more cultural ones. Okay. So what fabulous cultural things do we have? I'm guessing it's a lesbian bookstore because we have to have one of those. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Okay, because it's a nice, chill place to meet other lesbians. Obviously, if you, you know, failed at the cruise. Or you've now moved on to phase two of your relationship, which is the end of the relationship, and now have, you know, looking for some new TLC. And attached to the bookstore has to be a coffee store. Coffee yes, shop. an artisanal coffee shop. An artisanal coffee shop, of course. Because lesbians like good coffee. This is true. Because we have excellent taste. Duh. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Um, and then we can also have a... Okay, and if we have a vegan coffee shop, can't forget the beer and the wine. Absolutely. What else are we going to drink? Definitely not water. No. <laughs> Although I love water. But as a lesbian, it's beer or wine and coffee. For those tea drinkers out there who I feel very sorry for, we'll have some tea in there for you too. <laughs> Herbal teas. Herbal teas, that's it. Okay, so. Okay. Then for, okay, so now we've, um, you know, we're either already a couple and um, we're going through things or we're lonely and going through things, or we're a new couple and we're going through things. So it's very important that we have a feelings workshop. Of course. How can you have a lesbian establishment without a feelings workshop? Mm. A lot of feelings, lots of estrogen. (laughs) (laughs) And we need to talk about things. 
Yes. At length. At long length. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, then we round out the evening with a vegan friendly buffet. See, I like this plan. This place actually sounds amazing. Let's start one. <laughs> oh, and how's this for an idea? So, for some nice long day trips, Harley rentals. <gasps> Doesn't that sound amazing? It does. I love this plan because then you can go and explore the rest of the island. Do they have sidecars? I don't think Harley Davidson does sidecars. I stand corrected, so I actually don't know. Okay. You can ride the Harley and I'll ride the golf cart. How about you just ride, bitch? I hate that term. I hate that term so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, know, I think I it's... It. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to go home. Right. Okay, so we can't forget to hit the flannel gift shop on the way out. Absolutely. Where... If you spend more than a hundred dollars, you get a free carabiner. Mm-hmm. And a free like torch. Flashlight. On a key ring. I love this plan. Yes. This sounds like the best holiday ever. We should totally go there. And when we're renting Hollies, we can go to the organic market down the road. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let us know what would be at your ideal lesbian resort. Indeed. What have we missed? What needs to be there? Probably a lot of stuff, but this is why we're asking the question. Yes. So, tell us what's in your lesbian paradise. Absolutely. And you can tell us by joining us on the Lesbian Talk Show chat group on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Or email us on podcast at thelesbiantalkshow.com. You can find us anywhere where you find good podcasts, iTunes, Podbean and Stitcher. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends. And this show was brought to you by the Lesbian Talk Show podcast channel, which brings you a new show every single day. Bye. Bye. I like this plan. This sounds like an excellent place. Let's let's go there tomorrow for our anniversary. Okay. Why are you not giving me a high five? Oh, I think it's going to make noise. <laughs> AKA fancy walking. Fancy walking? Hiking. How's that fancy walking though? I don't understand. Well, you have to have special shoes for it. You actually go to do it. You don't just like walk, or actually just walking. You go to go hike. But look, seriously, hiking is just walking. But just fancy. You can have a cool stick to go walk with. You <laughs> get cool shoes. Don't forget the cool outfits for your dogs. Because mm. you get like like dog harness yes. things that you can like... Have a handle on it so you can carry your dog. It's like little backpacks for dogs. Oh, and the little doggy shoes. They're so cute. I'm a bad lesbian. <laughs> <laughs>